Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the first week of July. July 1st through the 8th. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus considering my readings are, are usually love readings. This is for the sign of Aries for the first week of July. I do apologize that the air conditioner is on. I have to have it on. It's like over 100 degrees out and I, it has to be on so please bear with that little bit of noise in the background this is for Aries first week of July if I said June it's because I haven't changed the calendar yet oh look at that you fell out so it is for the first week of July Emperor reversed you may be feeling a little there could be some anger. I'm not sure what this is. This could be loss of concentration, loss of focus, loss of self. Maybe you're just not feeling in your element or something. Maybe you're feeling a little depressed or something. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but, you know, this is somebody, I mean, that is. things may be feeling like they're a little out of control for some reason. There is, uh, you may be feeling like you're being attacked, okay? You may, that, and that may make you angry or upset. You could be dealing with somebody who's angry with you, and there just could be some bickering or fighting going on. You're trying to keep things balanced. Ego could be in the way, whether it's you or another person. Um, yeah, there, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that is, uh, you know overly emotional or this could be you taking on these energies this is somebody who may be feeling it is a little bit of a victim at this point this is a victim mentality so I'm not sure if that's you taking on that or if you're dealing with somebody that's that's doing that and it's causing you some animosity with this person that could be the case you know because I mean the ego is connected to this person so I think it's I mean hmm Somebody could be trying to get something out of you. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to zoom this in and then we're going to go right to it. There's an, there is an opportunity for a new, a new beginning here, something that's very exciting. It could be even a new partner. Okay, with the, with the with the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So just to switch it up a little bit, I mean, yeah, there may be a little bit of a loss of concentration. You could be dealing with somebody that has that victim mentality, whatever. That's just a part, okay? That could just be a day, whatever. Here I, I see an offer, okay? I see an offer, whether it's you or an interest. If this isn't an offer, it could be a love interest where there could be a new relationship on the horizon <laughs> okay so if you're single and you're looking for a new relationship that could certainly be in the cards for you um, and maybe there's been some sort of shift or something and now this is coming into your life there has been some kind of shift there's been some sort of uh, breakdown uh, disruption in your life that has made a transition it has has you know it may have hurt for a minute whether this is you taking on this energy or whatever it's it may have hurt for a minute and caused some sort of a emotional withdrawal you know when this shakeup happens it's like a rude awakening okay this is a rude awakening that may you know mess with your emotions for a little bit but it's it's to transition you into a new phase so I think this is what has happened here I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning that could lead to something kind of solid. I mean, this looks solid to me, a solid, happy relationship. But this this uh, event, whatever it is, has to happen to get to this happiness, okay? So it's a blessing in disguise. So there is some sort of battle, perhaps. There could be some sort of battle. And this could even be an inner battle, you know? that brings you there's a, some sort of battle or fight or something like that that 
brings you wish fulfillment in the end it's a blessing in disguise okay these these are mirroring each other I always look at what's mirroring each other there is something that is going to bring you happiness okay there is um, hmm. now how other people see you other people see that you're guarded they see that you're guarded they see that you've been wounded they see that you have a lot of strength and stamina as well I mean they see that you're really strong and you probably have a lot of life experience behind your back there see that's how other people see you they see that you um, are really determined to prevail in any situation they see that you're a strong person so that's great um, your challenge is this Ace of Wands. This is your challenge position. So this is this new beginning, this new spark. You may feel a new spark, but allowing yourself to go with it, and you know, this is this is being this is misjudged criticism, um, feeling like you're being attacked. Maybe there's this new spark that is so um, passionate that you have your guard up you're maybe you're you you're like woo because this is having your guard up and this can kind of have your guard up too because it feels as though you know you may be feeling like if i let this person in whoa, what's this what's what's it gonna do to me <laughs> you know what's it really gonna do to me so you may have your guard up um this right here is about indecisive it's you're indecisive about this new opportunity so I think that you may take this new opportunity or you may be excited about it because it could lead to something really good and I think that you know that but there's a little bit of a fear of compromise perhaps you know uh, what will I have to give up that kind of thing but I think there is a new opportunity of love coming in this week or an offer of love or you're thinking about it you could be thinking about offering your love that Knight of Cups is, you know, taking action. So it's it's actually making a move towards love and happiness. So I see love, happiness, and passion here this week. Love, happiness, and passion. But be this is the future. So, but before that happens, there is some sort of upset. There is there is some sort of upset that turns out to be a blessing in disguise for you. So. And the outcome, I mean not the outcome, the basis of your reading is that Queen of Cups reverse. That's about getting out of your head. That's about um, allowing yourself to love, you know, not not being scared of love. Because in reverse, she's, she's closed off. That's the basis of your reading. Open your heart. That's my message. Open your heart. I mean, it's mirroring this. There's, open your heart. offer if you have an offer to give do it if you if somebody is offering you love do it because it could lead to something solid it could it could lead to something permanent family happiness with a lot of passion so don't let your your hurts from the past because this is a victim mentality hold you back don't don't i know that's easier said than done but we go through moments where, when, you know, it's, it's worse than it is an hour later. You know what I mean? So just don't hang on to those moments. This is, this is thinking about it. Thinking about leaving or think about, thinking about love. Just taking all the time that you need. Make sure that you do take the time you need to deal with this upset. Because there is going to be some sort of upset it is going to cause some sort of emotional hurt. That's evident. It is. It's going to cause some sort of emotional withdrawal, perhaps, or feeling like, why did this happen? Something like that. You know, it might even make you angry or cause a little bit of chaos in your life. But in the end, it's giving you strength, and people know that you're strong and that you can handle this. So this, this emotional turmoil that you go through at some point during this week is actually a blessing in disguise because I feel like it is going to bring you something much better. You know, you have to release. So sometimes that is through emotional turmoil. Trust me, I know. So, um, oh, we got two. 
So it feels as though there's clarity coming in, okay? There's clarity coming in right here. Maybe somebody comes up, maybe there's some sort of uh, communication that comes in and you're, you're feeling like, woo, you know, whether you're communicating or the other person's communicating, there's communication coming in that is, is kind of powerful. There's a lot of power here. It's a lot of, uh, it almost feels like it's overpowering, it's overbearing, you know what I mean? So, but it feels good, you know what I mean? This is, this is, this could be a little bit too much, you know? I, I, I know what I need to do. I see this, I see this, this clearly now, you know, this is what I want. It seems pretty exciting, but I don't want to get hurt at the same time. So there's, there's these, these feelings of, uh, wanting to protect yourself. I want to protect myself. So your challenge is finding your power to soar. It is. To soar. This is a challenge position. To, show, to soar. To not continue to... You know, this is this King of Swords is somebody who harms them, is, a, is kind of like abusive, okay? He, in reverse, he's abusive. He's um, hurtful. He... Is only thinking about himself, completely only thinking about himself, period, period. Um, treats himself unfairly, treats others unfairly. So I feel like this is you taking on an energy, trying to protect yourself. It's not fair. It's not fair for you to not have happiness. To not be loved, to not accept new opportunities, to think that you aren't deserving, to think that you're not good enough, whatever it is, that's not fair. I feel like with that temperance card, there's been a lot of, of almost like inner transformation going on within you. You've evolved, but you're still in protective mode, trying to protect yourself. I mean, I really feel that. I feel as though... There's been a lot of healing going on, and some at sometimes when you're healing, it hurts. Okay, healing hurts. So you know, but I think that even though it hurts, you are being called to still do what you have to do for you. Okay, it's hard to explain. It really is. I feel like you're almost harming yourself by not allowing love to happen. You know, that's what it looks like to me. I do feel like there's a new opportunity being presented to you from above that could lead to a lot of happiness, or they're urging you to make that offer. Okay, that could work that way as well. Yeah, somebody has been reluctant to move on, stuck in a spa, hurting themselves, hurting self-hurt, seriously. Somebody has been hurting themselves, thinking about making a move, thinking about either going back to a situation or walking away from a situation, just thinking about it, not really making a move, when they have an opportunity to move, to, to make a move, but they're not making a move, and if that makes any sense at all. So I feel as though there is an opportunity for a new beginning if you would let it happen or if you would be open to it. There's an opportunity for a new relationship with a lot of romance, a lot of passion, a lot of honesty, a lot of happiness, but you're gonna have to let your guard down and you're gonna have to let it in and you're gonna have to be able to make some compromises, okay? Because this is compromises. So I, I feel like there is some sort of new beginning, okay? There's a new beginning for you, Aries. And it's a major new beginning. It's like a completion has happened within your life. A big completion, a phase, a phase is over with. You don't have to guard your heart anymore. You don't have to be so defensive. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to be alone, okay? You don't have to be. You're only hurting yourself by not 
truly completing that cycle okay somebody has been reluctant to move on protecting themselves like I'll get out but really really wanting the ultimate happiness okay because with, with the nine of cups to the ten of cups this is wish fulfillment that leads to the ultimate happiness but you gotta let your guard down you gotta stop protecting yourself to the point that nobody can get in you gotta let them in so I do feel like there is an opportunity for a major new beginning here major this is um, success success is, is on the horizon and victory this is a new chapter starting for you if you can find the power to communicate with whoever this person is that you're thinking about while I am doing this reading whether you're a couple or or a single this is about this is a card of communication communicate 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 let your guard down there's an opportunity for a major new beginning there's been some sort of rude awakening that hurts causes some sort of uproar in your life but ultimately leads to happiness so I feel like this is a really good week for you I feel like this is a week of of overcoming your fears overcoming your your putting down the shield putting down that shield and letting romance happen I mean, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love, compassion. It's follow your dreams. You know, let your sensitivity show. This is, this is it. Be sensitive. Let it show. It's okay to be sensitive. It is, even if you're a male. Go after what you want. You're not being fair to yourself by not, by cutting everybody out and shutting everybody out and pushing everybody away. That's not fair. It's not fair to you. It's really not. It's not what the universe wants. The world is a universe card. One of the lessons here is to be open. So I do feel like there is an opportunity for passion, commitment, happiness, balance, harmony, and clarity, if you allow it. This, this Ace of Swords is also an awakening, waking up. I wake up. I'm awake. It's time. It's time for me to start. It's time. It's time for my new beginning. This could signify a, a new partner. Okay, I think there's a new partner on the horizon for you, Aries. I really do. Let's get two of these. But you gotta let your guard down. Oh, did I just say you need to let your guard down? It is safe for you to love. <laughs> Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart. It's time. It's time. Ooh, like I said, communicate, communicate. Express your love. Go ahead, make the romantic gesture. Somebody is wanting you to. Somebody wants you to. Make the romantic gesture. Do it, do it, do it, do it. 
trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So if you have somebody on your mind, the time is now. Communicate. It could lead to a lot of growth, passion, and happiness. Talk to you later.